equation. So we have a given equation here and we want to solve it. So let me rewrite this one here. Is a 3 in exponent 3x minus a 3 in exponent 2x and I'm moving the 4 in the other side and this is a minus 4 is equal to 0. And let me substitute here. Let me substitute a 3 in a x is equal with u. And now here I can write u cubic minus a u squared minus 4 is equal to 0. If we are trying to find out what is u here. The easiest way is if we are uh, applying reminder theorem. And if we are applying the reminder theorem and if we are plugging u is equal to 2, it's going to satisfy this one to become a 0 here. And uh, one of the solution u is equal to 2. And now if we want to find uh, the other solutions, uh, we take a uh, we divide uh, this polynomial here by the u minus 2 and we are going to get so let me write here too i'm going to use here the synthetic division okay so let me plug here is 1 minus 1 0 and minus 4 so we are dropping 1, 2 times 1 is a 2, minus 1 plus 2 is 1, 2 times 1 is a 2, 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is a 4, 4 minus 4 is a 0. So it means u is a solution, even we are verifying here with a synthetic division. And uh, the other thing here, this one we can factor, u cubic minus u squared minus 4, we can factor in a u minus 2. And we can write in this form u square plus u plus 2 is equal to 0. So obviously we see here u is equal to 2 is 1 a real solution. And if we are applying this in quadratic formula, so I'm not going to solve everything because it's going to take time and I think it's very easy. It's going to yield u is equal to the minus 1 plus minus i square root of 7 divided by 2. So those are two solutions, two, uh, three solutions in fact. It has a two complex solution and is one real solution. And now if we want to find the for x, so we already know the substitution what we did here, u is equal to the 3x. And if we are plugging in this case here, we have a 3 in exponent x is equal to 2. We are uh, going with ln both sides. And we have a ln 3 in x is equal to ln 2. Okay, so let me rewrite this one a little bit better. ln 2. And uh, this one uh, exponents we can write as a multiplier xln3 is equal to ln2. We divided everything by ln3, so it yields one of the solution x is equal to the ln2 divided by ln3. So this is one real solution. So x is a, one real solution of the x is ln2 divided by ln3. The other solutions, the other solution here we can take uh, this uh, 3 in uh, x and we can write a minus 1 plus the uh, i square root of 7. Everything here is uh, divided by 2. If we are ln-izing both sides, we have a uh, ln 3 in uh, x is uh, equal to the ln, everything in minus 1 plus the uh, i square root of 7 divided by 2. If we are simplifying or if we are, uh, if we are proceeding a little bit further, x is a ln3 is equal to the ln minus 1 plus i square root of 7, okay, is a minus ln2. 
and now we are solving for x we are solving for x one solution the other solution here is going to be x ln minus 1 plus i square root of 7 minus ln 2 everything here is divided by ln ln 3 ln 3 and this is a what uh, the other complex solution and based on this uh, on this uh, work here is going to be the similar for the other uh, solution but the only difference is going to be here sign that negative so we already found the three solutions and so ln is a minus one minus a i square root of seven minus a ln two which uh, this one can be modified indifferently but I believe in this form I think is much better ln 3 so those are uh, three three solutions it has a uh, one real solution and it has a uh, two complex solution so if you want to see a little bit better so one solution x ln 2 over ln 3 and two other solution what already we see here